Let us question those individuals there. Um, excuse me. I'm telling you, I saw it with my own eyes. Yeah, some nasty goblin man came crawling out of that comet. He's what's been spreading this illness, I tell you. A goblin from a comet? <laughs> I find that quite a hard story to swallow. I was out on the wharf when that thing came down. And then, where there was nothing, poof, this weird-looking fellow popped up. I ain't never seen anyone like him. Care to describe him? A horn. He, he had a horn. And, and, and his skin is like twilight, all, all purpley. Now, now you try telling me that thing ain't the cause of this plague. A man with a horn came out of the comet. All right, that's quite enough out of you. Sorry, been out of work so long, not much to do save drink. No, it is quite all right. Channel's meant to open back up any day now. Get us back to sailing. Although these crazy rumors about falling stars and plagues could put an end to those hopes. But really, don't take any of these weird blatherings to heart. Perhaps we should return to the infirmary. Why that voice sounds so much like Raymond? Also, yeah, so the man with the horn, you end up fighting with Raymond. I can't remember if Gaston has a horn or if it's just the other one. I forgot his name. I remember the Veer, but I can't remember the... Oh, I can't remember the one that's voiced by Ben Diskin to save my life. I know Gaston and there's Lola and I forgot the other one. I cannot remember his name, but I remember him. Things looking better here. A bit. Not that I was able to do much. Anyway, learn anything useful? Only that there is indeed a great deal of talk. At this juncture, I believe it is safe to say that the whole western half of the kingdom is aware of the comet. And considering the interest around it, more people may yet try to investigate the crash site. We must move Elena from the shrine as soon as possible. I fear we do not have long. That settles it. Back to her pod we go. So they must be talking about. To get to the Galka Shrine, we had to cross the Larkis region into the Delvir region again. A significant journey. Then we could just like fast travel. We should make certain we are properly prepared. Because I know you fight um that V. Oh, they're not gonna let me fast travel. That's lame of you, game. Okay. Rude. They probably have like some kind of cutscene that's gonna play here. Yeah, 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 that's why, that's why. They have a cutscene here. I wonder if another viewer is gonna come attack us or something. Like Gaston or something. Or Lola, maybe. Begging your pardon, but where are you off? Yeah, I called it. Delric, and you, sir, are you aware? Maybe not. This is not a veer, or oh, is he a veer? Something like that. Heard about an odd shooting star in these parts and came to see for myself. You lot seem to have a marked interest in it as well, by the sounds of it. What? Couldn't help but notice that orb of yours. Quite a rare specimen. Piqued my curiosity, you see. Enough of this beating around the bush, then. Oh, yeah. Are you here to retrieve us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you here to take us back? Forgive me, but I do not take your meaning. I see. Just my luck. And yours is not any better, it seems. Warning. Warning. Hostile intent detected. Uh -huh. Skin, that horn, the rumors were true. Really hate to do this, but one has to do what one has to do. Threat detected ahead. 
Okay, so yeah, you do fight a Veer with Leticia as well. That's interesting. You fight a different Veer with Ray, which I cannot remember his name to save my life. All right, well, Leticia's already dead. Also, thank goodness we have Nina for this. Oh wow, you killed out Baird already. Well, this is not looking good, despite having like a healer here. Danger, unable to continue okay. combat. That was just a bad attempt. <sighs> this should be good. This should be a little easier than the Ray one because oh, how nice. This should be. How do you? How do you skip? But where are you off to? Oh, it's hold X in this game. A lot of games are hold triangle. But with Ray, you only have Midas when you fight the Veer, so this should be a little easier in theory because we have Nina. I want to get these stupid other guys at. The one with the gun needs to go. This crossbow guy, he's a problem. Because once he just like gets attacking you, it gets annoying. Okay, you're done. Feel free to start this slingshot guy needs to be out of here. They die really quick, at least. Up. Hey, bud. How's it going? I'm gonna just throw my guillotine. Don't mind me. So, Nina, we need you. Oh, you killed him. Awesome. All right, now it's just you, Gaston. Just you. This combos kind of go endlessly, but just Gaston on his own shouldn't be a problem. Easy broadside. Oh, beautiful 44% stun lock rate. Yeah, he has a lot of health here. I mean, it's going down. He gone. So let me do my, um, this move. Get wrecked. Augustan, the pressure is so real right now, dude. You have no idea. Easy. Yo, 89%. Couldn't have been a 69, but I'll take it. What's your, um... Says triangle. Behold, fire. I'm too good. Oh, I love the peerless guillotine. That's such a good move. Oh, Nina can revive now. I forgot about that. I love that we got that move so early. Do you imagine if I got another blindside as the other one ended? That would have been so good. Yeah, leave them in ruin or whatever. But there's a Doom of Point hanging back there. Come at me. I am remembering why I love to play as Albert, by the way. It's this whole, like, bit thing I love. I think I played a lot of Albert in the post game of Raven's playthrough. Easy. Well, that went well. Once we got his reinforcements out. It seems we'll have to pick this up another time. Attempt to flee, and you will find out just how fast and painful my chakram are. Easy there. We'll most likely see each other again soon. But until then, I'll leave the falling star to you. Hold there! Ugh. Blast it! Of all the times! Ugh. Albert! We must return to the others with all haste. They need to know of this. Okay, good fight, good fight. So yeah, in case you don't know, or you didn't watch the Raymond playthrough or play this game, you fight 
another one of his race with Ray and Midas, though. That one's a lot harder, though, because you don't have a healer. on trying to apprehend him. Nay, be at ease. That said, Maester Midas explicitly instructed you to avoid overexerting yourself. Did he not? Indeed. Well, I guess on second thought, that might be why they gave... Oh, wait till they're done. I guess that's why they gave Gaston reinforcements. Because you have Nia. I guess they made him a little... They gave him more reinforcements because they're like, Oh, they gave you a healer, so they'll just add some other enemies to kill. I don't remember if the other Veer also spawned reinforcements, though. Okay, I think we're good to fast travel, aren't I? Yeah, we can fast travel now. It was just because of that fight. Also, yeah, we're gonna play as Albert for a bit because I really like playing as Albert. I played a lot of Albert, especially in the post game of my previous playthrough. Not only is Albert like one of my favorite gameplay styles, he's also like probably my favorite character in this game. To be quite real with you. Oh my word, that just like tore through your eyes. I love it. Why? My aim is true. There we go. Oh, we got some living armors here now, huh? Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't see me. The Puppet Master? Bum, 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 bum. Stop. Oh, I died there. Was that that low on HP? So what are you guys doing? Like, are you guys even alive? Those living armors there? He's gone. Okay. Alright, they're gone now. No big deal. I think the puppet master is doing something with them. Ray, we have returned with ill tidings. Are you okay? You look terrible. Blame the weirdo who tried to bust in and destroy Elena before her repairs were done. What? With some giant purple-skinned asshole. Who the hell are the people on this rock with horns growing out of their heads? <gasps> you guys ran into one too. I would hardly call our foe a giant, but he most certainly had the skin and horn you describe. I think our days of taking it slow and steady are behind us. Perhaps, but for now, you should sleep. You may not have another chance for a while. And you look ready to keel over. We shall stand watch for you. We are more than capable. Please, rest while you can. Yeah, that might be a good idea, actually. All right. You guys mind waking Midas up before I... Before. <laughs> Good night, Ray. I do not believe for a second that you can just fall asleep like that, by the way. Ray? Ray? It's time to get up. <sighs> You're awake, finally. Morning to you, too. How you feeling? Self-repairs are ongoing, but I'm at least able to operate at 70% capacity. I can move just fine now. Ah, I slept through your first steps. Some captain I am. Midas was there for me, in your stead. Oh, yeah? Thanks, man. Nonsense. Any doctor or inventor would do the same. Now that I've recovered, I can assist you. So, Captain, status report. Now, Chloe's down here. Likely on the other side of the kingdom. We're gonna find her. Leticia and the others have promised to help us out, thankfully. Thing is, I kinda had to promise them something in return. That I'd help cajole Midas into returning with them to the capital. Your efforts on that front will be in vain. 
Midas. Should my system see a marked drop in performance, for some reason or another, it would be helpful to have someone familiar with my schematics besides Ray nearby. That way, any problems that arise could be quickly dealt with. And if I say no? Then we would bid you farewell, and that would be that. Were I to require help on my journey, I would seek out a local semiomancer or engineer. <sighs> Enough, I'm coming. I've Albert's arm to consider after all. Uh, you will? But I'm only accompanying you lot for purely semiomantic reasons. I reserve the right to leave whensoever I wish. Appreciate it. Now, as for Chloe, any idea on how to begin our search? We have heard from reliable sources that Rifle's ports are meant to reopen in due course. And the quickest way to the easterly lands is by ship through the channel. Sounds like a plan. Come on, we got a boat with our name on it. <laughs> I respect Midas being like, as soon as I want to leave, oh, I will leave. Remember me, Welch, the beautiful merchant. Oh, here we go. Genius level smarts. I need something like yesterday. I'll give you the deets in person. So come to my house in Delric ASA. Well, that's on you for not telling is me. The town of Rythel far from our current location? Yes, to an extent. Rythel is located in Delvir, beyond the region of Larkis. And that's after we get through the Adali region and the Larkis Weald. Alright, I think we have a lot of side quests that open up. I think you go, we go on the boat from Rythel and we're going to like the next town, but I think we have a lot of side quests that open up right now. So we're definitely going to spend some time doing those side quests. Also, we have Elena in the team. I think for now, I want to put Midas in, in place of Raymond, and we'll use, um... Change party. I'm gonna take out Ray and put Midas in. We'll keep Elena and Raymond in the bench for now. Enjoy your I want to play as Albert for a bit. But yeah, I guess we got some side quests to do. Could we go to the Delve now? I think we're able to go to the Delve now. Threat yeah, we get some side quests to take care of, I think, especially with Welch. Cut them to ribbon. <laughs> the slowdown, dude. The game, like, has a hard time running during this. Like, look at this. Easy. Let's do a uh, quick recovery there. Dude, I just remembered we're playing Leticia side. I completely forgot about this, but one of the one of the small changes. Many powerful enemies inhabit the Denmore Delve, wipe them out to earn rewards. Yeah, new enemies emerge and you get like full or something. However, if you have undertaken a quest with the Denmore Delve. Okay, that's fair. I completely I forgot. No idea. But there was such a never mind, here. the characters are gonna talk. Okay. Oh, this swamp is dangerous. You done? Can I talk? Um, yeah, there's a giant toad we can kill. Uh, I completely forgot, but because we're playing Leticia's side, we will get a new party member. Because during the Ray story, I think someone spoiled in the comments, like, oh, you would get uh, another character instead of uh, this character. But we, you do get one. There's one character. They're considered optional. But they're really easy to get. Like, it's not super hidden, but they're an optional character. But, um, you get one character with Raymond, but with Leticia, you will get a completely different character. So we're gonna get that character this time, which is also really neat. Easy. He shouldn't be- oh my word, he is dying really quick. What the heck? I'm gonna kill these bats, actually. Oh, the bats also have HP, though. Like, boss HP. I did not think the bats would have a lot of HP. Alright, the bats died really quick, though. Get burned. Hey, over here, idiot. Oh, the frog is dead. No about my 
So Nina, you want to like heal Letty? That would be great. Burn. All right, this Gamora Dell fight is going incredibly well. I was worried this would not go well. And we are on universe still. Alright, easy. <laughs>